Good morning, folks. Thanks to everyone on our live stream last night for a positive, no saltiness, informative, and fun time. Maybe the best one yet. Today, we're awaiting the CME impact, watching for more eruptions, and we've got some great articles on deck. Let's get started with the last 24 hours on the sun, and we find it was a relatively calm day up there, with the primary event being a filament release top right that exploded beautifully into space, did so away from the Earth. We'll take a bit closer look at that event here in 304 angstroms to see the gorgeous plasma release. Remember, we're likely to see geomagnetic activity today as the CME from a couple nights ago is due to impact the Earth today, likely just in the lower range of level 1 or 2 storm conditions. But of course, we are in need of watching for more with a slew of sunspots on the disk as we speak. Sunspot count quite high at the moment. Let's start the articles with the eye candy where two new stellar phenomena have been discovered. The first is a 22-minute period magnetar, by far the longest one known, and breaking their ideas of how these stars work. Seems to be an ever-common thread in astronomy these days. The other being the first ever two-faced star. They are saying half of it is hydrogen and the other half is helium and the star just chills that way. Yeah, I will safely comment that the more they discover, the more absurd the assertions are from the last couple decades that they have all of astronomy figured out. Two great magneto reception articles here. First one elucidating the importance of the magnetic field for turtle navigation, including a potentially never before uncovered mechanism of magnetic sense in the creatures. The other one adding burrowing crickets to the list of magnetic navigating creatures. The more they discover, the more clear it is why the ongoing magnetic shift of Earth is going to mess with the entire food chain. Last but not least, a fantastic piece on using clouds to predict geomagnetic storms, but it's the why rather than the what that is top tier here. Solar storms directly impact atmospheric temperatures, which in turn mess with the clouds. It's never been more clear that while a segment of the scientists on Earth are stuck plugged into the climate paradigm, others are clearly full speed ahead on the fact that the sun forces weather and climate in significant ways, leaving virtually no part of the atmosphere untouched. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the resources in the video description box below. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.